a blessed day to you all my viewers and subscribers welcome back welcome back to another video thank you all for checking this one out all right my people so a couple of things want to take a look at in this one now we see where West Indies test opener Tejnor and Shando Paul actually showed his fans and supporters that he has what it takes to strike the ball yeah man he had a very good innings in a t20 match uh, yesterday so we're going to give you some info on that plus we're going to take a look at uh, the cpl table at the end of the st kitts and navy's um leg so we can see what is happening and faf duplicy quite a few people are still asking why is it that faf duplicy is leaving so um just gonna officially address that so just give a listening ear until the end and let me know what you think in the comment section remember my people if you have not yet subscribed to the channel i am asking you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button as you show your appreciation for the content all right so let us kick things off with west indies uh test opener tejnar and shandopal now tejnar and shandopal as many of you know is a talented player right when he's playing test cricket one of the things that a lot of people talk about is that he needs to um up his strike rate you know uh he showed us how good he is in uh he is actually playing in a in a in a t20 league over here in the united states so taking this one from usa cricket uh cricketers.com so it says shanda paul stars in fort lauderdale lions win over orlando galaxy so in that game tejnar and shanda paul helped his team uh, to secure a victory by nine runs uh, he actually made 77 of 49 deliveries so 77 of 49 including four fours and four sixes to lead his team to a uh, victory in um that league there so you know shout out to to tejnar and shanda paul always good when you see you know players are not active where international cricket is concerned and they find some other avenue to keep themselves um going i mean it's not international cricket it's not the challenge that we would like we would probably want to see him over there in england playing some 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 county cricket or whatever but you know you, you have to set up a certain you have to set yourself a certain way before a uh, team's gonna gonna just recruit you and bring you in like that you know i've always said it notice that notice the type of players that from west indies that they, they, they bring into the to the leagues over there if it's not kimar roach it is gabriel right uh, we saw alzari joseph so they usually go for our pacers that are actually good um you know where batting is concerned I uh, would be nice to see see a couple of our players going over there. Uh, Jaden Sears was actually set to go before he got prior to him getting injured. Injured, so I'm not too sure uh, how next season will look. But you know, Teja and Shanda Palmer people, as I said, keeping himself active and um, you know getting 100 and, and uh, well getting 77 or uh, 49 as. Uh, they they were able to as they were able to to, to take victory there in that um tournament uh sticking to t20 cricket but this time we're switching over to the cpl and faf duplicy is one of the best leaders when it comes on to t20 cricket right when it comes on to franchise cricket he's usually high he's highly sought after he has led in the uh ipl before you know they usually trust him to do a, to do a job in the cpl but usually, you know, he, he he's he's able to do a job and then, you know, he has to leave and then the team usually go downhill from there. Um, this time, captain in the St. Lucia Kings, uh, you know, he has to leave and it's not a West Indian that is taking over the captaincy based on what is happening here. It's actually the player from Zimbabwe, Sean Williams, that is set to take over the leadership role there so taking this one from esp and quick info so the confirmation is here they say faf duplicy will miss the remainder of the cpl 2023 season due to an elbow injury so that is why um faf is leaving so whoever was saying that he's going on tour or he's going to rejoin south africa team whatever that's not it right they say that he is missing because of an elbow injury so that is it confirmation and they say Sikandra uh, Sikandra Raza takes over 
as the St. Lucia Kings captain with Colin Monroe uh, roped in to replace Faf Duplicy. So we remember that Colin Monroe was added to the to the thing and you know he, Colin Monroe is usually playing for TKR. He played a couple of seasons for TKR. Um you know not as not as not as uh as fruitful as we know he, he can be. So let us see what he will bring forward to the to the um to the St. St. Lucia uh, Kings team. So that is the reason there. And uh, sticking to the CPL, but just drifting a little bit over to the table. CPL points table, my people. And I think this is the latest, latest one so far. I think this one came out after TKR's victory. So, um, sitting on the top of the table, we have St. Lucia Kings. They have played five games, uh, win two, lost one. So they are on six points. Guyana Amazon Warriors they have played three games they have won uh, two and um, you know we, we know the rain went to the next one so they are on five points Jamaica Tala was on third played four games won two lost one and um, thing, I think we had some rain with, with, the, with the other one fourth we have TKR um, they have played uh, three games. They have won only one. They have lost one. And I think the other one was uh, affected by rain. Fifth place, we have the Barbados Royals. They have played three games. Won one, lost one. And they are on three points. Uh, St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots. They have actually played the most games. They have played six games. They, uh, they have already lost four. They won... Uh, I don't think they have actually actually won any, you know. So they they, they lose four and they they they, they, they lose um they win zero, and um rain also affected them. So the Saint Kitts and Nevis Patriots, my people, will find it difficult to recover from where they are, especially seeing that you know they are moving from um Saint Kitts and they are I think they are going to Barbados next. So Saint Kitts and Nevis Patriots, they will have to put in the work. If they are going to get back up that table to be able to qualify but right now as I said you know um, the top four uh, St. Lucia Kings, Guyana, Amazon Warriors, Jamaica and TKR a uh, few teams playing a couple games more than others so you know that that is that is that is one of the reasons where points are concerned so uh, we're gonna just continue to monitor this and uh, as the CPL goes along we will see the teams that will qualify and then who will lift the title in 2021 gonna leave it right there for now my people just continue to stay tuned to the channel make sure you subscribe if you have not yet subscribed turn on that post notification bell so once i upload a video you will be notified big up on yourself stay safe